What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this is uh, kind of crazy and I'm not talking about the data download <laughs> we're about to cover but rather the fact that I'm uploading videos on back to back days. Definitely a rare occurrence as of late but like I said uh, I'm gonna try to be a lot more active during this worldwide celebration compared to the anniversary so hopefully it's uh, not as crazy in the future. Anyways, with that said, let's get into this first of several uh, worldwide celebration data downloads. A big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets as always. Hopefully we can get him to, you know, 10k followers uh, by the end of the celebration. We'll see, but definitely go follow him. And uh, with that said, I'm gonna scroll down. Oh, actually, before we get into the assets, the first thing we got was the app update for global 5.14.0 so just quickly going over that we're on the uh, dokkan.wiki website so we have update 5.14.0 information number one optimized standby mode after activating a standby skill in addition to checking the current charge count you can also check for more details on standby mode when you tap the charge icon or the revival counterattack icon so as you can see just click on this little uh icon here in game and it gives you some details about the different super attacks or finishing attacks i guess that can be used depending on your charges right so that's pretty cool number two optimize the skip function so now you can also skip standby skills uh finish effect and also revival counterattack. And last but not least, optimize the burst mode. To make burst mode more enjoyable, the special effects of characters who have an advantage when attempting a stage will be rendered ineffective in burst mode. Plus, more burst mode conditions have been added. So, uh, a bit of a boost, I guess, to the burst mode uh, mode in general. And others, let's see, uh, adjust to the setting of the Awakening Metal Goku, which can be obtained from the greatest warrior so that it cannot be sold adjusted certain uh, descriptions and fixed some bugs so not a major update but definitely some nice quality of life changes that is update 5.14.0 and now getting back to the assets we're starting with the extremes the area event for lr krillin so this is the stage this is the extremes the awakening metal we also have some new ultimate red zone stages for uh, Dismal Future. Uh, the first one is versus Android 17 and 18. And the second one is versus Doctor... Sorry, versus Cell, first form. So yeah, once again, Android 17 and 18. And then first form Cell. Obviously, more stages to come in future updates. And then from there, we have a new Peton battle. Peton battle number 22. We got a new binder icon as well as a new card pack series 11 and oh that's dropping on the 21st by the way and then we also have the new dismal future edition ultimate red zone ticket we have a worldwide celebration ticket which you always love to see and these can be purchased for those uh, memorial dragon stones which we'll talk about in a second uh, okay, we're going to talk about them right now. So these are the Memorial Dragon Stones number four. If you guys don't remember how these work, basically it's based on how many stones you've spent since the last Worldwide Celebration. And it's one Memorial Dragon Stone for every 50 stones spent. So let's say you spent a uh, 1,000 stones, right? In the last year, then you'll get 20 of these Memorial Dragon Stones. That is the correct math. Yes, it is and uh, so on and so forth. So if you spent 2,000, it's gonna be 40 stones. If you spent uh, 3,000 stones, 60, and uh, you get the point. And then you can exchange these for either specific characters, or you can exchange them for these worldwide celebration tickets. So that is the Memorial Dragon Stone. We have the worldwide celebration countdown screens. We got seven days to go. We got six days to go, five days, four days, three days, two days and one day and as you can see the one day is actually the dragon ball super future saga whereas everything else is dragon ball z which is pretty interesting so as we said yesterday in the 
uh, V-Jump scan breakdown. Uh, this is going to be a future themed celebration. We don't know exactly what the characters are going to be outside of the uh, free-to-play trunks, that is. Um, we don't know what the summonable characters are going to be, but I think LR Vegito Blue is uh, pretty much a lock at this point, right? And the counterpart to the Vegito Blue is a little bit up in the air. There are a few theories out there, but uh, hopefully we'll get more details shortly. And uh, we also have this Dokkan Field and Line asset added for Global, which is pretty interesting. Um, I assume we can also just get these Dragon Ores through like Twitter or Facebook as well, but uh, that remains to be seen. Either way, we will be getting these free Dragon Ores for logging in, for sharing the celebration on social media. And uh, of course, these can be exchanged for actual Dragon Stones in the Baba Shop. And uh, okay, so that is everything from the worldwide celebration that we know so far. After this, we have a bajillion assets for, uh, you know, untranslated things, right? Like unreleased or not ready to be released things like maps, characters, story assets, and all those things. So first things first, we have a bunch of maps, which I'll show you guys quickly, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because that would just take forever. So we got, you know, some desert landscapes. We got some city uh, stuff we got uh, you know just many many maps for different environments as you can see uh, that is a new boss rush right there and uh, once again you know these are not ready for release they're untranslated so they will be released at some point in the near future probably within the next couple of months but they're just not ready at the moment but uh, they are in the game files now for global and uh, yeah, that's a lot of maps. That is a lot of untranslated maps. Okay, so there you have it. And one more for good measure. Okay, so after that, we have this uh, support memory enhancement or support memory metal, which uh, is also not ready for release. We got a couple of Dr. Wheelos right there. Okay. And we also have a couple of Turlises. As you can see, we have a uh, Ballsack Head and uh, I forgot this guy's name. Anyways, Ballsack Head and a couple more bad guys. Okay. And then we have this uh, LR Goku, which is going to be released at some point this year. There he is. And we also have a future Gohan. We got this Vegeta. Couple of babies. Uh, oh, this guy I am super excited for. This is the super full power saving for Goku, the LR. And uh, he'll be coming maybe closer to Christmas, I would say, around that time, possibly. I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't hold me to it. But um, yeah, super full power saving for Goku, definitely my most anticipated card at this point. I mean, we don't know what's coming for. The worldwide celebration so i guess i can't say that for sure but um of the cards that i currently know about that are coming it's definitely that goku okay so we got uh blue dragon stone we got this wish strip for the tenabata celebrate or the thank you celebration i guess you got um a couple of support memories with my girl 18 we got some awakening medals for some of these unreleased characters we just saw earlier some more awakening medals all right, uh, some more Extreme Sea Awakening medals for Beerus. And then we got some more Extreme Sea Awakening medals for this Vegeta. And then we have some Extreme Sea battle events for the LR Go Bros, for Beerus. Uh, an untranslated Peton Battle Pack number 12. Uh, a bunch of Peton Battle cards, which are also unreleased. And you guys can take a look at those. I'm not going to scroll through them. Uh, one by one because we've already spent too much time on this data download but uh, there you go and then some random <laughs> login assets as well a bumper crop joyous lettuce harvesting so this is a special login boat it's kind of like the hercules heart pounding gifts um thing right so um yeah oh and uh, there's also some scripted event assets i thought we were done but apparently not so take a look at some of these story assets as well 
Um, hopefully there's not too many, but I think there's quite a few. <laughs> got a little Yamcha here, got Raditz. Uh, Nappa, of course, with hair, love that. Kid Vegeta. Uh, Vegeta. A couple of Turluses. Yep. A couple more Turluses and a lot of Turluses. This is actually really dope. I really like this. It's creepy. It's really creepy, but it looks sick. Uh, got a jacked Goku arm. Got Goku himself. Uh, got Amon. That's his name. Amon. And then a uh, Balsack head. Raisin. Razin. Razin. Uh, Cacao. Right. Forgot his name as well. Cacao. Got Days. Is it Days or Dai? Da whatever. No one cares. Uh, Majub, Super Saiyan 4, Full Power Goku, Super Power, power Saiyan 4, Super <laughs> Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, Oceanus Shenron, Omega Shenron, Dr. Willow, uh, Old Man, and a couple of weird looking dudes. We got Giru and Asira, I think is how you pronounce their names. Anyways. Uh, backgrounds, two more backgrounds, and last but not least, some unique skill uh, icons. Now these are basically just to show some of your character's abilities that were always there, but there was no indicator for them before. So now we have these, which is a nice touch. And uh, that's it guys, that is the data download. Um, like 80% of the stuff we just went through is not for the worldwide celebration, but it's still you know, cool to see that they're in the global database now. And, uh, you know, most of this stuff will be released this year. So some stuff to look forward to for sure. Lastly, thank you to Proton at 10MG once again on Twitter. Go follow him for all these assets and uh, look forward to more worldwide celebration content on this channel in the near future. Uh, we might make it three days in a row of uploads tomorrow. I can't guarantee anything because uh, I got some pretty big things for work tomorrow, um, which require me to travel quite a bit, but um, I'll try to find the time for sure if uh, anything big comes up. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.